We're about to go all over the Bay Area in California, hitting every single toy store, comedy store, collectible store we can find, and buying anything Dragon Ball we don't already have in our collection. Let's get out there and see what we can find. Starting the search off with one of my absolute favorite stores in all of California, The Cave. They accept buy-ins, trade-ins, and just about everything, and when we used to stay out here, we would find stuff in here almost every single time we went. They are loaded. If you're ever in the area, no matter what kind of figures or toys you're into, check The Cave out. First find of the store already is Majin Vegeta blowing up Blood of Saiyans looks awesome right off the bat we noticed these two sick Dragon Ball skateboards on the wall with Shenron on them so you know we had to grab them just a quick little show of some of the other amazing statues they had in store they even had this insanely huge Pikachu target spotted Dragon Ball keychain with something else Dragon Ball behind it. When you walk through the aisles in this store, there's literally stuff on shelves, in drawers, hanging from the ceiling, hanging from the wall, so you really have to know what you're looking for and be able to pick it out of a massive, massive selection. It's so much fun. Look what else we found. I found base form Frieza. <laughs> we definitely don't have. We also noticed this little Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta fig pen hidden in the case. Thank you. Final haul from the cave. First form Frieza, <clears throat> then Majin Vegeta, and then, don't follow me. <laughs> then this old school Super Saiyan 3 Goku keychain. That's really cool, vintage there. Then uh, Gogeta, big pin. And then of course we got both of these skateboards. This primitive one with Shenron and the Dragon Balls, and this one that I've been looking for for a long time. It's actually shaped like the Dragon Balls. So happy with this first stop. Then we found another little comic book store basically right down the street from here. Usually we don't go in these because usually they just have comic books, superheroes, Marvel, that kind of thing. And unfortunately, we didn't find anything in this little store, but still always worth the check. Next, we checked the store called World's Best Comics and Toys. Let's go ahead and put their name to the test. They have an absolute ton of stuff. Right off the bat, we did notice a row of the Dragon Ball Funko Pops, but we do unfortunately have all of them, so that was no good. Then we came across a little section in the corner with a bunch of Dragon Ball figures. Unfortunately, we did have just about every single one, but we did not have this one particular Goku, so you know what? I count that as a win. Next, we hit the second location of the cave, and as soon as we walked in the door, there was a life-size Goku just sitting there staring at me. Normally, their prices are great, a little lower than eBay, so we asked about the Goku, and they were asking 10 grand, and he's literally only a little over four grand on eBay, so that was a hard pass. Even though the life-size Goku was overpriced, we quickly started finding some old vintage Dragon Ball figures at a great price. Behind the counters, they have an insane amount of figures. We did start to see some Dragon Ball ones that we already had but we also started to see some of the rarer more expensive older figures down below so you know we had to check our pictures to see if we have them okay. thank you we grabbed quite a few of the older figures and even found this weird funky looking Shenron I don't know where he came from but I know he's Shenron I know we don't have him so that means he's coming home with us he <laughs> I just love this store Paul from the second cave store look at this weird looking Shenron I don't know what he is from but he's no like idea. squishy <laughs> but it looks cool this a little damage to the box, but still hard to find. Look at the Evil Boo figure. Nice. That's cool. Then we got this one, which is hard to find too. First form cell blaster. Set. This old school from like the 80s. Old school Gogeta. Awesome figure. This bla ah, it's falling blaster. Vegeta. I think we're just filming this right on the side of the road. <laughs> Right, right on the side of the road, right? <laughs> this is the best condition box, that base form series 2 Goku. And then we got this Vegeta right here. And then of course this is actual authentic Shenron me for me. Oh. <laughs> Next stop was a place called All Things Anime. It was a small shop, but man, was it loaded. As soon as we walked in, we started seeing Dragon Ball galore, and it did not disappoint. Right off the bat, we knew we didn't have the Dispo, the Trunks, the Moro. Even though there were a lot of figures on the shelf we did have, there were quite a few we didn't. I don't have any figures. Big this place was awesome and all these figures on the counter was our massive haul. Next, we went to a place called Fugitive Toys, which has probably the biggest Funko Pop selection I've ever seen in person. Unfortunately, we have every single Dragon Ball Funko Pop, even though we did find quite a few of them in here. Still an awesome shop if you're looking for pops. Next, we went to a place called Kobe Anime, which is on a little strip mall and found two little Dragon Ball pins we didn't have. Next, we went to a little anime store in a mall called Zoom In. They had 
a ton of Dragon Ball stuff that I had never seen before. Some cool bobbleheads, a bunch of figures we didn't have. So we got a pretty big haul from then and I was really excited that we went in there. Let's go through the haul from Zubin, check it out. We have never seen these. These are like bobbleheads that look like they're straight from Japan, probably not available in the US, but they are actually licensed products. So they're really cool. We got Frieza, got Goku and got Piccolo. Now they got me wondering if there's more of these out there. This is the first time I've ever seen them. So they're really cool. And then we got, look at the little keychain with seven Dragon Balls. That's cool. And then, why are they, get out of here, get out of this. <laughs> they got this cool looking, probably bootleg Tapion figure, but definitely cool. There's not much Tapion out there, so we had to get him. And then this other bootleg, TN with his shirt ripped off. So you know what, that was a good stop. Next we went to a small little shop called Zonky in San Jose, California. They have a bunch of really weird but really cool stuff. We did see some Dragon Ball pins and they did have some Dragon Ball figures that we had all of unfortunately. Just left that place Zonky, didn't find no figures but did find two pins we don't have, Piccolo and Super Saiyan Kid's trunk. So definitely going to the collection. Next stop is a place called SNA Collectibles in a mall. It might look small but this place has one of the biggest selections of collectibles I've ever seen in any store ever unfortunately nothing new dragon ball but still an awesome store to check out if you're in the area next stop on our list was a place called comic and figure addicts who did have quite a big selection of dragon ball the problem was so do we and there was nothing in there that we didn't already have but still an epic store with a huge inventory of action figures next we left the bay area and started heading south and found a place called downtown toys and comics and right when we walked in we found dragon ball we didn't have and they had two big bearded dragons. We did notice some of the little miniature Funko Pops that came in the calendar we already had, but we also found this Super Saiyan God Goku that we didn't have. There's some, there's a number. these are dragon stars out of the box. Yep. We saw a few other figures that we already had and then noticed this sick Majin Buu skateboard on the wall that we didn't have and definitely had to get. So happy with our haul from that store. So first, I don't know what in the bootleg this is. It's like Ultra <laughs> Instinct color with Super Saiyan style hair. I don't know, but we didn't have them. This is the golden version of this. We have the regular figure, but they make exclusives. The golden one right there did not have him. Okay, that was cool. Those two. Then we got this bag right here. Tied it a little too tight, but it's all right, we're gonna rip it. There is the Goku that goes in the box right there. I thought they put him in the box. Why did they do that? I just realized <laughs> that. Okay, that's weird, but weird. yeah. There's this little bootleg Goku, Super Saiyan Blue, that was sitting at the front right there. He looks kind of cool. Then we got this little capsule perfect cell figure. He looks awesome. And then this, I'd never seen this before. Like 3D art with Super Saiyan God Goku. That was pretty cool. And the best thing ever, I'm so happy finding this skateboard. Majin Buu, Fat Buu, Super Buu, Kid Buu on the bottom. That looks so sick. I'm so glad we found that. Next, we went into another toy collectible store in Bakersfield, California. They had a massive selection of Funko Pops. They did have quite a few of the Dragon Ball ones. They even had the new exclusive Frieza Final Form Pop and Tea, which we just got in our last road trip. They even had some of the newer ones. The only thing they had we didn't have was this new Trunks Funko t-shirt inbox. One find in there, we got the Funko Trunks t-shirt usually you don't collect the t-shirts but because this one's in a really nice display box you figured you might as well just keep it and leave it in the box next we went to another store that had an absolutely insane amount of both funko pops and action figures in the back they did have some anime things but unfortunately there was nothing dragon ball that we didn't already have in our collection next time we're going to be toy hunting in las vegas we're even going to hit pawn stars and trust me they had some epic stuff don't miss it